Hello students, welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lessons, we have been discussing different categories of forces, including adhesive and cohesive force. In this lesson, we are going to discuss surface tension, a force that makes the surface of liquids to appear like a stretched, elastic, thin skin, which make it possible for things like uh, mosquitoes to float on water, even a laser plate carefully placed on top of water floats, though a laser plate is made of steel, which is more dense than water. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to state and explain service tension and then state some of the effects of service tension and then finally give the factors which affect service tension. In this case, you will explain how temperature, how temperature affects service tension and also how impurities, impurities affect service tension. So what is service tension? Service tension is defined as a force per unit length. In the plane of a liquid surface acting right angle on either side of an imaginary line drawn on that surface so for example in this case if you have your beaker containing water up to this level this is our imaginary line where the water has reached all the particles which are on top of this uh, liquid so on this imaginary line we receive an inward force, an inward force which is perpendicular or which is 90 degrees to the marginal line that we have drawn on the surface. The marginal line, there will be 90 degrees like that. Now, this force which pulls these particles inward makes the surface of this liquid to appear like a stretched elastic skin. So sometimes you can also define surface tension as a force that makes the surface of a liquid to behave like a stretched elastic skin. It makes the surface of this liquid to appear like a stretched elastic skin. Now this force is the one which is going to enable uh, animals like mosquitoes to float comfortably on water. But remember, one of the measure or control measures of mosquito you are told in primary school is that you can introduce oil to contaminated water and then mosquitoes will die. Now we are going to see what oil does to the surface tension so that when mosquitoes try to float, they will sink and die. Now how can we explain surface tension in terms of molecules? Remember, when we discussed cohesive and adhesive force, which we call the intermolecular forces, we said when you have particles of the same kind, they experience a force which we call cohesive force. If I can draw my beaker here, containing water up to that level, then I draw a few molecules, molecule 1, molecule 2, then molecule 3 and 4, and then we have other molecules like that surrounding these main molecules which we are going to discuss. So if I can number them, this is one, two, three, and four. Now, since we have said there is a force of attraction between these molecules, it means whenever we have molecule one, it will receive a downward force like that. It will receive a downward force like that. This molecule will be attracted to this molecule like that, molecule three, will receive a force from all molecules which are surrounding it, including molecule 4. And then this molecule 4 will also receive a force of attraction uh, from the molecules surrounding it. Now, look at molecule 1 and 2. They are only receiving a force downward. But above them, they don't have any water molecule which will be attracting them to the upper part. Now, if I can draw this diagram, down here just to represent molecule one and molecule two then in this case our water surface is here and then molecule one is here and then molecule two is there 
Now, the force which is attracting these two molecules is only a downward. And above this molecule, there is air. Above this molecule is air. So there is no water molecules above them. So it means there is no cohesive force above these molecules. But if I can draw the molecule 3 and 4, molecule 3 and 4, they will look like this. We have the water surface there. And then we have molecule 3 here. And then molecule 4 there. And then on, on around this molecule 3, we have these other molecules which are like that. And then we have seen the force which is between them. There is a force which surrounds this molecule 3 and 4 from all sides. So what does it mean? In molecule 3 and 4, there is a, a mutual force from all sides. They are attracted by a force from all sides. So it means the net force net force is zero. They don't experience greater force from one side. They receive equal force from all sides because they are surrounded by molecules of the same kind from all sides. But for molecule one and two, they don't experience a force upwards. They don't experience a force to the air because in air we have different molecules, so it will be a passive force. So they only experience cohesive force downwards. So it means here the net force, net force is downwards, is downwards, downwards. Let me write downward properly. If the net force is downward, the net force is downwards. So it means if the net force is downwards, these particles one and two will be experiencing or will be stretched down. Now the force which is experienced downwards is what we call a surface tension force. Remember we defined it as a force per unit area which act or as force per unit length which act on a surface of a liquid and it acts perpendicularly to the surface or a force which makes the particles on the surface of a liquid to appear like a stretched elastic skin. So the reason why the surface at the top or at the, the, at the surface of a liquid appear like a stretched elastic skin because there is it's because they receive a force from only one side and then the other side there's no force but the particles inside the liquid are not in any other tension because they receive equal force from all sides we say the net force is zero we have few situations in which surface tension act and the first one is a steel razor blade or a steel needle or a steel pin floating on water when carefully placed although steel is denser than water we know steel is denser than water but when you place it carefully on top of a liquid in this case on top of water the steel pin will not sink substances which are more dense are supposed to sink but in this case steel is not sinking what happens how does the steel which is more dense than water float what you are going to do if you take a hand lens a hand lens is a substance which magnifies we call it hand lens if you take a hand lens and observe the area under this is a steel needle you're going to realize that the surface of that area under the needle behave like a stretched thin elastic skin that is under tension so this surface will be will behave like a thin elastic elastic skin which is under tension now this elastic thin skin is the one which holds or which holds the needle in that position and this one can also be explained in terms of when you have water in a glass if you have a glass and then you put water using a dropper to the brim you can put this water until it rises in excess what happens the surface of this liquid is under tension so around this surface it will behave like it is being held or covered by a skin which is not going to allow the water to pour out but now if you break this surface at once if you bring a, a stick and then you touch one point of this surface the liquid will level out and then it will break and become like this after you have broken it 
will become normal like that. Now, the reason why a liquid extends above the brim is because there is a surface around it which behaves like a stretched elastic skin, which we call surface tension, and it holds uh, particles on the surface together. Another situation in which surface tension act is when you have a brush or bristles of a brush and you put them inside water. When you dip these bristles inside water, they will spread. They will spread out. They will spread out like this in this first picture. And the reason why they spread out is because there is now a this force. A this force. There will be a force of attraction between the water molecules and the molecules of the bristles. So they will, they will be attracted and then they will spread out. But now when you remove the brush or the bristles from water, the water which moves out with the bristles will not want to separate itself from each other. So it will form something like an elastic a thin skin around the bristles and the bristles will cling uh, together. Now, the clinging together of these bristles is due to the surface tension of water surface on the bristles. When these bristles are removed, they come up with water. Now, when they come out with water, the water which is on these bristles will want to maintain the smallest surface area. So they will, want, they will push the bristles together and then they will form a smooth or a thin elastic stretched skin around the bristles. Now, another scenario where surface tension act is when you are crossing a tap or a burette and then release some drops. You realize that after crossing a tap, there are some drops which will remain and then they drop later. If you observe them well, you realize that the drops will grow, the drops will grow and then stretch out. They will stretch more. Now, when the mass of this drop increase, it will stretch more. And then this contraction now will be very thin, like in this first photo, second photo, and then we have the third photo and then the fourth photo. Now, this contraction, if the mass of the drop is very high, it will cut and then the drop will fall finally. Now, I'm interested with the first, second and third photo. The force which makes this drop to grow and stretch out is what we call surface tension. Surface tension. Now, after the, the drop has uh, dropped now in the fourth photo, this drop will remain in spherical shape. It will remain in spherical, spherical shape. The reason why it remains in spherical shape, we discussed it in adhesive and cohesive force. We said these water molecules now, they will have a force of attraction between themselves. Force of attraction between molecules of the same kind, we call it cohesive force. So after the drop has stretched and then it has been released, it will remain in a spherical shape because of cohesive force. But while it is stretching from the top, it will stretch because of surface tension on the surface of the drop. So another scenario is a glass of water can be filled with water above the brim. This is the brim of this water. This is the maximum this glass can hold. But you can fill uh, above the brim without water boiling out. And this is because of the surface tension on the surface of water. This appears like an elastic stretched skin is the one which will keep this water in contact here. I hope I discussed this one earlier. Now, from what we have been discussing, you can realize that surface tension acts along the surface of a liquid so as to reduce its surface area. That's why when you have a, a, a bubble of a soap and then you have a funnel when you blow a soap bubble through this uh, end of a funnel the, the the bubble will grow or will stretch out the bubble will stretch out to the maximum point like this now when you stop blowing when you stop blowing this bubble since it was stretched it will now go back because there is no blowing. It will be push. It will push itself back, or it will com or contract back, and then it will end up occupying the smallest possible area. Now this one is like a spring. When you have a spring, original, original 
position of a spring, let's say a spring is of this size. A spring is of this size. Let me draw using a red. A spring of this size. Then now, this is at its original uh, uh, shape. Now when you stretch it, when you stretch it, just like surface tension, when you pull it from the other ends, it will become like this. It will become large or it will stretch out like this. This one is when it is stretched, just like when you are blown, you are stretching the surface tension of that soap bubble. Now, when you stop uh, stretching, when you stop stretching, the spring will go back to its original size. The spring will go back to its original size so that it occupies the smallest area where it is not under tension. Now, that is exactly what happens to this bubble. When you have a bubble, originally it was at this point. When you blow, you stretch it out. Now, when you stop blowing, it will go back to where it was. So we have two factors which affect surface tension, and the first one is impurities, and then the second one is temperature. Impurities affect surface tension by breaking the cohesive force or the force of attraction between the molecules of the same kind. For example, if you have a beaker like this one, and then you have water up to that point, then you have uh, your pin, you have your pin floating on this water like this. It's floating because the surface of that liquid is behaving like a stretched elastic thin skin. Now, it means the whole of this surface is like a, a stretched elastic skin. Now, if you bring now impurities like a, a detergent soap and you introduce it at that point, impurities like soap, soap solution, and you introduce it at that point, what will happen at this point, the particles which were here, which were under tension, which were being pulled downwards by cohesive force from other molecules down here, they, this cohesive force now will be weakened. And when this cohesive force is weakened, then the stretched elastic skin will break at this point. And immediately it's broken, the whole of this surface now will move to the other end so that it can occupy the smallest possible area because we have said surface tension tries to occupy the smallest possible area. Now in that case, this pin will not have a skin or a stretched elastic skin where it will lie and then it means this pin now will fall or will sink to the bottom of the beaker. Now the other factor is uh, temperature. Temperature affects surface tension by reducing uh, or weakening cohesive force also. So it also weakens cohesive force and we are going to discuss this one when we discuss the fifth topic of Form 1 which we call the particulate nature of matter. When you introduce a high temperature to a liquid, liquids have particles which have some spaces between them. Now, if these particles between these liquids and these are, we have some particles which are at the top, when you increase the temperature, these particles will start moving randomly. They will be moving up and down. In the process of moving, they will gain more kinetic energy and even move more. When they move, this force will be weakened, which we call the cohesive force. And in that case, surface tension now will be broken. And then if you have a material or a, a, a pin on top of a surface, then it will sink. So you can increase the surface tension of a liquid by reducing the temperature. When you reduce the temperature, the movement between the particles will decrease. Then it means the stretched elastic skin will be more strong with the decrease in temperature of the liquid surface. Now that is the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss mass and weight.